Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending this last afternoon session. I know that you are quite exhausted. Yeah, just small correction. I was and I still belong to the Belgrade, but in the last seven years I'm living here in the UAE and I'm working in a private practice here in the UAE. Uh, for the 20 minutes I should explain my 15 years almost experience in the immediate loading. And it's quite not easy, but I will try to summarize everything what I did in the last 15 years. So, uh, I will start with the one question, which is actually the question still we are searching for the answer. And that is, that is what are the effects of the immediate implant loading protocol to compare to the conventional implant loading? We have in the last few many years, we have a lot of researchers telling us some results, but we still don't have the full and complete answer. We definitely know that the immediate loading is something which is providing the functional benefit and some kind of the, like the comfort to the patient. So, when we are speaking about also integration, there are six factors affecting this also integration. That is the condition of the bone, quantity and quality, loading condition, surgical technique, implant design, implant surface, and finally implant material, which I think is quite important today. So uh, also the factor which are affecting failures of the implants are surface roughness of the implants, then mechanical overloading, then the patient local factors, patient systematical factors, and surgical technique, especially overheating. Health of the patient, then, parodontal status, occlusion, parafunctions, characteristic of the implant site, implant size, implant shape, 